All right, in this final training video, I want to show you how you can um, use the activities and build your own activities in the MOOC collection. Um, so if you are new, you just want to register as a new user. So just put an email and a password in there. Okay, so let's head back down to our MOOC, the Age of Globalization. And if we click on the Activities tab, you can see that there are a lot of different activity types that you can choose from. Um, so I've gone through and created a few demonstration exercises, but you can also go through and create your own. Um, this is a great way to practice with the lectures and just to have fun as you learn more about what Dr. Hoberman has actually said in these lectures. Okay, so at the top you have some relatively simple types of activities. Um, if we go to word guessing, for example, this is just a typical closed type activity. So let's go back to introduction. I'm going to give that same name to the activity actually. So uh, lecture 1.1. You could also create a word list at the top. So I'll just display that for you. So that means that the words that you need are going to be listed up here at the top just to you know help you out. Okay, so um, I think that's fine. And, and once you're done with that, you can click on save and then your activity is going to uh, appear here. So anybody who comes into the collection will be able to use your activity as well. And then of course they can create exercises as well. All right, let's go and choose another one. Um, let's choose something a little bit more interactive. So collocations guessing. Okay, so I'm just going to call this test. And okay, so this lecture series is about globalization. So I think it would be quite nice to pull out words around globalization, maybe corruption that seems to be another one that occurs quite a lot a really useful thing that you can do um, for this activity is just to choose the words that are occurring frequently within this collection so let's grab some of these words so we've got um, cultural So obviously the more words that you're putting in here, you know, probably about 10 or 12, the, the more interesting this game will be. Um, so the system is going to populate those words with different patterns of speech. So I'm going to um, deselect some of these um, corruption phrases and drugs phrases just so I don't become overwhelmed. Um, but you can decide and go through these um, more slowly. Okay, you can do them one by one as well if you don't want to take um, the full block away. Okay, so okay, so now I'm going to display the game, this um, guessing game, this word guessing game. So what you need to do is just click on the button that says start a question and f these phrases that are missing keywords will come down the screen. And what you're supposed to do is um, type in a word that you think matches. So become law. Oh, okay. Obey the law. Take the law into. So um, what you can do is show the remaining collocations. Um, and then you can click on the collocations and this links you back to a much larger database of um, naturally occurring English to show you how this expression take the law into their own hands um, or your own hands, how it's used. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. All right, so start a question. Hmm. Okay, what will that be? Uh, Okay, more again, no, okay, ah yes, corruption, 
Okay. So you get the idea. You can also um, make this a little bit harder for yourself by speeding it up. Okay, you can go to very fast just to make it more challenging. Okay, so that is very fast. <laughs> okay, too fast for me anyway. Um, let's try another one. Catering business? No. Uh, law? Oh, industry. Okay. Uh, and so you get the idea. All right, so that's a really quick introduction to just a couple of the activities within the collection that you can start playing around with to really get into those lectures and to know them completely.